Why, hello! Welcome back to our Dutch farmhouse. My name is Naomi, and I am working on my bedroom makeover, and I have no nightstands. So I went online on Marketplace, and I found two wooden nightstands for 50 euros. They were a little bit outdated, but in good shape. So I thought maybe I could sand them, rethink the design a little bit, see what we can make of it. So let's do that. Oh, they are so much heavier than they look. I didn't really have a plan. I am just taking it apart, seeing how it looks and what I could do to make it look better. First, I wanted to get rid of that base. With its round edges and it being wider than the cabinet itself, the base actually played a big part in it looking dated, so it had to go. I will, however, need to create new legs because I want the cabinet to be high enough and also because I think it looks better. Oh, I made my screw thing. The supports for the bottom drawer were a little loose, and by that time I had already planned to create new legs that would be attached to that piece of wood, so I decided to unscrew them and screw them back in tightly with wood glue in between, giving it some extra support. Then I sand it the whole thing. Now, just like many of you, I am not a fan of sanding, <laughs> but it was kind of satisfying actually because it changed the whole look of the piece. It made it all fresh and light and beautiful. Good morning, it's the next day. I sanded this cabinet yesterday and I'm actually, I've actually saved the other one for today. <laughs> the weather is much better today, so that makes me really happy. The sun is shining right now. It probably won't last, but I'm enjoying it for now. Um, I've also made another decision because I made a tiny, tiny mistake. I miscalculated something. I thought that I had doorknobs left from when I built the cabinet in our game room, um, which I do, but I don't have enough for six drawers. I have four doorknobs left, not six. So I was thinking maybe I could mix and match different doorknobs and just make it very whimsical and fun, but I didn't really like that. And I also really like those doorknobs, so I really wanted to use them. <laughs> but then I was also thinking, I figured this thing needs some something more. Just three drawers is kind of boring. And so I thought maybe if I leave one drawer out and make a shelf in there, then I would also only need to use four doorknobs, which is really good, but it's also going to add a little bit more interest. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take out those supports that are meant for the drawers and I will build new supports inside and put a shelf in there. And hopefully that will look pretty. Now, wouldn't it be awesome if I could build the shelf from the material from a drawer? Oh no, it won't be wide enough. Of course, no. Okay, that's, that's a stupid idea. Never mind, dumb idea. I don't have to break anything, so if it turns out that it doesn't look good, I can still just reattach those supports and put in the drawer. It would be like nothing ever happened. So, I'm just gonna try. some scrap wood. Remember I said that the sun wouldn't last? That was at most five minutes ago and now it's raining. Lovely, lovely country. 
In the back, there were two slats that my shelf had to go around, so I marked where to make a cutout and used my jigsaw to fix that. I needed two pieces of wood to make this shelf, and one of them had to be cut to be narrower. Now because it was such a short piece, I could do this on my miter saw, although it's obviously not made for cuts like this, but it works. Then I put in the supports and laid the shelves on top of it. For the legs, I used the wood from the original base to cut out even pieces of about five centimeters high. Now, in the end, it turned out that five centimeters was not enough. I should have made them higher. I miscalculated that, but I decided to leave it for now. And all the way at the end of the bedroom makeover, I will put them next to the bed and decide if I have to raise them or not. I clamped a piece of wood to my miter saw as a sort of guide to make sure that each piece was exactly the same height and then I drilled pocket holes in the sides to screw them in place. Now I am gluing these legs on and that will carry most of the weight. So the screws are really just an extra precaution and also to keep things stable while the glue dries. So I think it is looking a lot better than the original, and but now I have to do it all again for that one. So let's do it. Now with both of the nightstands done, I cleaned it very thoroughly to get rid of all the dust from sanding so that I could protect it with a sealer. I want to keep the wood color as it is because I think it's beautiful, so I am using this clear stain for this and I applied it with a rag for the first cabinet, but that didn't really give me the result that I wanted, so for the other one I actually continued with a roller. I put on one layer of the sealer, then I sanded everything lightly, and then I put another layer on top. And then I could finish them off with the doorknobs that I talked about. These are the same doorknobs that I used on the cabinet in the board game room, and I think they look lovely with this wood. I absolutely love how they turned out. I think they look a lot better than they used to, and it really wasn't even that much work at all. I mean, it took me a couple of days because you have to wait for things to dry in between layers, but once I had the first one done, the second one didn't really take me that much more than two hours, maybe. I can officially say that editing this video will be more work than the project itself. So, maybe subscribe? Stick around for the next project, which will actually be a lot more work. So stay tuned for that one. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.